Hey everyone, so we have reached the GCD exercise between the numbers, so we need to read two natural numbers and we need to find the greatest common divisor using the Euclidean Euclid algorithm. So how can we do that? So as you can see, we have two here, uh, two numbers, A and B, and uh, so A should be greater than B, so, it's, it's, so we can uh, do that now in, in reading the variables. And what should we do? So we calculate always A modulo B, Till we reach the uh, remainder equal to uh, zero and this one this number so it will be equal to the greatest common divisor so we need to continuously doing the stuff until the remainder is equal to zero so when the remainder equal to zero we will get the uh, this one so let's start so we need to have two numbers so let's call that a and b and we need uh, uh, the remainder and stuff so let's wait a bit and do the reading so we need to f to read the uh, x uh, uh, a and b so a and b should be positive and a should be greater than b so let's start that so we'll do do print f enter a and we'll scan f a so a should be a uh, positive so while so as long as or, or different than zero so we can we can have a, a, a one is negative so as long as uh, a is equal to zero so i will uh, do uh, the repetition so i will repeat that so okay it's negative okay we can do that and we need also one for the uh, b so again it shouldn't be uh, uh, equal to zero so if you want to restrict the value to be b to be a greater than b so b should uh, b should be less than a so we can write here so if b equal to zero i will repeat uh, the introduction the entering of the value of b and what if b is uh, is a less than b so if a is less than b i will do again the same stuff so uh, b should be less than a so as long as b is greater than i i will repeat the same stuff so if you want to force that if you don't want for example in other solutions for example if a is less than b you swap a and b so this is a solution so we are forcing the user to enter a, a value of b less than a other solution is for example you accept any two values except zeros and you swap the value so in a you will have the biggest one and in b you will have the uh, smallest one so this is the solution i will stick with the second one so i will check so if a is less than b i will swap otherwise i will do nothing so i will need here an auxiliary variable so for swapping so ox equal a so we know that a is equal to b and b would be equal to ox so here we have a is greater than b so what we will do is that we will do some iteration until the remainder is equal to zero so we will need a remainder so let's call, call it a remainder and maybe we'll need some stuff as long as we go so since i will keep a and b for the output at the end so at each iteration look i'm having a new a and b so this is the first a this is the first b however the in the next iteration a would be equal to b and b would be equal to the remainder so for that i will use uh, x and y so in order to just keep a and b i can play with a and b so modify the value of an a b but in this solution i prefer not to do that so let's so x first will take the value of a so sorry so x would be t will take the value of a and y will take the value of uh, of b so uh, we will we'll not write it here because we'll directly calculate the remainder here so let's start with 4 so 4 we have here so as you have said we still we continue do the loop until the remainder is equal to 0 so as long as the remainder is different than 0 so we can just write that so it means that remainder is different than zero i have to do some stuff so what i have to do is that i need to calculate the remainder so this is obvious so in the remainder i should place x modulo y so in x i should have a and in y i should have b so in x i have a so i need also to modify x at the next iteration and i have to modify the y so uh, in y so i'll have b at the first iteration just in the first iteration and in the remainder what, what what can I have at the remainder first? So because I'm doing uh, 
it, it just for the case where uh, a is greater than uh, b so i can place here remainder so i will tell you later what should we do here just for the case where a is so the, directly the module would give us a zero so let's keep it for now but we have to initialize that huh? because the remainder should be the, should be first different so let's start remainder with equal to a hmm? we'll see that in a while in, in one of the examples so so as long as the remainder is uh, different than zero i'll uh, do the calculation on the remainder and at the next iteration x would take the value of y and y would take the value of the remainder so and next x will take the value of y and y would take the value of the remainder so you can place all these here you can place some of these here or instead of four you can use a while loop so it's more natural here to use a while loop so as long as the remainder is different than zero i would calculate the new remainder and i will modify the x and y so when i get what i'm when i'm i'm reaching this part here it means that the remainder is equal to zero and the value is in x <clears throat> so the value would be in x y because after uh, when we're doing that we are modifying the x and y so print off uh, GCD percentage D comma percentage D so I will place here the A and B is equal to percentage D so first we have A B and we have the value of X so let's run the program so we'll enter A 1 to 2 0 and B 516 and we will end up with 4 so because we are doing the, the those stuff so when we will use this stuff so whenever where after the first iteration the remainder will be equal uh, to 0 so we need to calculate the remainder so uh, let's say 4 and 2 so it will be equal to 2 so because the remainder here is equal to zero and uh, directly I will move the remainder to zero and uh, uh, output x so just I need to initialize the remainder at least a value so that I can uh, do uh, the while loop so what if I enter b greater than uh, than a so I will enter 2 4 here I will end up with 4 2 so I have swapped the two variables so this was for this exercise for the GCD. So if you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message and I will try to answer you back as soon as possible. And again, thanks for watching.